It's about the sort of uh, false sense of comfort that we have in our homes. You know, we're constantly infiltrated with these images of the outside coming inside um, into these houses. And so this work is a, about that, you know, and I, I've been referring to this body of work as beautiful disasters, um, you know, kind of poking fun at that spectacle a little bit. And uh, it started with collecting this tree three years ago and not knowing what I was going to do with it, um, but knowing that, you know, when I was collecting storm debris to literally get something that, that knocked my power out for almost a week um, to cast from felt significant. But to activate the whole wall, instead of um, finding wallpaper out in the world, which I usually, that's usually how I start, I designed my own wallpaper and wanted to use a traditional, it's a sort of mix between a floral and a damask wallpaper, you know, which has a lot of history with pointing to status and luxury. And I painted flowers from my garden as they died. And so the wallpaper actually slowly dies from the top to the bottom. And there's the, the kind of inked, blacked out element I was thinking of that as a water line at the bottom of the wall. Um, and then all this debris kind of crashing through. And so there's um, lampshades and jello molds and a chair and it's all created through cast paper, which I wrap objects in handmade paper, pull, pull wet sheets of paper, coat objects, and then razor them out to create these hollow objects. So nothing on this wall is um, as it seems, it's all fake, so it's all this kind of imagination, uh, imagined objects. And um, I, I like to sort of use maybe gravity defying feats or cutting back into the objects to kind of showcase that they are not real. So it's um, almost like an image of an imagined disaster versus an actual disaster. So it's very clear that it's staged.